Okay, so I am going to show you a really quick tutorial on how to tack down rhinestones. Let me get some thread. Don't forget to tie one end. Let's see. One, two, three. I usually do four times. There it is. I just don't want it to um, go through. Here's my very Cricut needle. All right, pulling through. So uh, hopefully, so I'm using this banding right here. This is size SS12 banding chain as you can see it's actually a lot bigger than what I usually use this is SS8 this is SS12 you can see the difference okay so what I did is that I cut a little piece right here and I'm going to show you how I tack it down with this little piece so I wish I found a place let me show you something really quick okay sorry my chair makes a lot of noise all right this right here I'm not finished with it but like when you're doing um when you have a bead or like a center let's see if I can find a center around here Okay, right here, a center. Okay, you can do it around bees. That's what most people do. You can put it around like this, you know, around it. But this is not done, so I'm not gonna do this one. Um, or if you want it around that, and you just have to glue that down, then start. I usually start from the bottom, like I said before, around it. Okay. But what I'm going to show you right now is how to tap this one down. And let me see if I can zoom it in a bit. Mm, let's try it again. There. Okay, don't mind my nails. I don't get, I don't do my nails because I just don't want to. Okay, so for example, this is where our bead is at, okay? So what I do is usually just don't just imagine this is beads. So what you do is you go under it. Okay, let's bring that over. There's like a little chain right, and let me turn it around. You see, there's a there's a little area where it's connected at. So that's what we're tacking down. Is that little piece right there? That's what we're tacking down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this through. Like I said, we tied a knot at one end. Wait, <laughs> at one end we tied that knot right there. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be pulling our needle through, pulling the needle through, okay? And then going on the other side, let's see, make sure I'm on the film. Go on the other side of it. And then pulling through there see so the thing that we're tacking down is that little chain that's connected right in the middle of it that little thing right there that's the things that we're tacking down so let me show you how it looks so it's gonna look like that okay then when I first started, I was doing um, every rhinestones and then tacking down. Let's see if I go to up to the next one. There it is, going up, pulling, going on the other side, pulling through. I think these SS12 is so much easier. Okay, and then go up on the other side of the rhinestones. 
Let's see. Up. Pull. Go on the other side of it. Pull. Like that. See? side pull through you can see now it's tacking down let's see it's getting tacked down stop moving then we just got to finish one more I'm make sure I'm gonna feel I can even see it okay let's see it no, a little bit more on this side. Let's see, it's hard to guess. And then pull through. And then pull through. Go on the other side. Like that. That's how you tack them down. Like that. Like I said, it's usually you going around with your um, rhinestones, like in a circle. You know, like, um, let's see if I have an earring. Hold on. Okay, so this one, you see how it goes all the way around? That's how it would look, but I just showed you a straight line. And so it'd be easier to tie it because you had all these bead strings all around it. And this is just a line, so you would have to tie it. I don't know. I usually go through one of the, one of the back of the one of the thread. And go under that thread. Let's see. So I went under the last thread. Go under this one. One. And I go another time. Two. Then pull. Two knots is fine. Cut it. And there it is. There's that. That's how you do. Um, that's how you tack down your rhinestones.